us about the conversation you guys had with Rojas just about the WBC and the decision for him to, to not go there. Um, so initially when we talked to Miguel, it was uh, appreciating the fact that he wanted to represent his country uh, in a potential reserve role and uh, how could we help facilitate him getting ready, um, but also getting assimilated with our ball club. And um, it worked. It made sense that he was going to go represent uh, his country. And then... That's pre-Lux. Pre-Lux. And then so when, when Gavin uh, got injured, obviously his role with us changed. And so uh, he came into my office and Andrew and, and Brandon were there and we sort of talked about you know, his thoughts. And uh, he'd already talked to his family and, and just uh, felt that because of that, it made more sense for him to stay with us. And so obviously as an organization, uh, it, was, it benefits us because his relationship with Vargas and getting at bats to get ready for every day at bats essentially um, is a lot, makes a lot more sense than going and playing a utility role and not playing in the classic. So we supported that and uh, I let the teammates know yesterday and they were very grateful and shocked at his sacrifice essentially. Was there like a lot of convincing that you guys had to do? Or <clears throat> no, pretty not at open all. To, yeah. No, and I think with Miguel, you know, and that's the thing is like with veteran players, I think that they have a lot more experience and maturity. So to understand, uh, you know, the experience is one thing, which uh, means a lot, but also the preparation for a major league season and what, uh, as a new player with our club, uh, the value of getting his body ready to play every day. Um, is important. He didn't have a regular off season, and so uh, he wouldn't have that ability if he wasn't with us. Dave, uh, where's Dan Hudson? Is he still moving forward in his progression to be ready for opening day? Huddy is moving forward. Um, I saw him yesterday in a pen. It looked really good. Um, is he progressing? Absolutely. Uh, is he going to be an impact reliever for us? Yes. Uh, is it opening day? I don't know about that yet. So, but I do believe that, uh, you know, it'll be early on in the season, but I don't think opening day is a hard date for us right now. Were you looking for him to kind of be the lion's share of the ninth inning, or is it still fluid between him and Phillips? I think it's still fluid. Um, you know, once Huddy gets, is with us, um, I, I think there's a couple other guys in the mix. I don't think that uh, we need to break camp and, and say that we have a dedicated closer. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, a handful of guys I think that are going to be in our pen that I feel can finish games. It's, it's more about just building up arm strength. Is that the reason why he may not be ready? It's not the knee or the ankle. I think it's a combo. Um, I would say more so the knee in the sense of the knee and the, and the, the, knee and the, and the arm. Um, you know, the arm will, doesn't take as much time. He's been throwing. He's a one-inning guy. But the knee as far as... PFPs and mm. the recovery and uh, you know stuff like that we've got to be very sensitive to. Have so his you, bullpens been full intensity? They have, they okay. have, they have. And, and uh, you know, if you didn't know about the knee or the ankle, you wouldn't know any different. Um, it's, it's. He can spin the baseball. He can command the baseball. It looks really good. So you guys are kind of preparing for him not to be on the opening day roster, but just like kind of leave. I think I guess. think preparing and knowing that that's a possibility. That's fair. Yeah. And then Walker, I mean, obviously long he had a bat for him, but he picked up baseball yesterday. How encouraging was that? It was good. Uh, Walker said it went well, uh, got out to 60 feet. And um, so it, it's a good step in the right direction. It's going to be a long process for Walker. But uh, to have him around, um, talking to our young players, um, being around the veteran guys, uh, it, it's good to have Walker. So he's in as good a headspace as he can possibly be in uh, with regards to where he's at. So. Uh, We'll just kind of take it week to week, month to month, and see where we're at. It's too. Is it too soon to even project? It is. It is. I think that this uh, process coming back, there's so many peaks and valleys, and for anyone to guesstimate, I just think it's unfair to Walker. Um, so you know, putting expectations right now. What does this throwing program entail right now? How, how like how often is he going to throw per week? Uh, you know what, Jack? I don't know that right now. Uh, I knew that yesterday was going to be his first day, um, and, and I don't know. I think that more for me, it's just more on the relationship part of Walker than the kind of the the, the, the parts of his rehab right now for me. 
And I go back to Rojas, like we talked the other day before the injury about just him being open to a different kind of role. How have you seen him these last couple of days embrace the opportunity to be playing, you know, every day again and, and taking over at short? You know, I, I think the thing that stood out to me was uh, his mindset as a young player uh, who was mentored by uh, uh, Martin Prado to prepare to play 162, mm -hmm. regardless of your role. So that's something that was instilled on, upon him a long time ago. So um, with uh, Miguel, he came on board, knew his role, it changed. And so I don't think his preparation or mindset has changed at all. How much will he help Vargas? Immensely, immensely. Um, you know, young players, the thing that makes them young is lack of experience and uh, expectations uh, as far as how to do things the right way. And uh, Miguel Rojas has been through it. He's been that young player. And even from some people that knew Miguel when he was with the Dodgers say to me that he's a different player in person, which makes sense. And so I think that uh, Rojas right to his side is going to help Miguel Vargas uh, his kind of uh, intensity, sense of urgency, and how to go about things. Uh, it's going to ramp it up a lot quicker. With, with Rojas, are, are there things with his swing you guys are trying to change his spring? Or when you kind of look at where he was at offensively last year, do you attribute a lot of it to the, the hand and wrist stuff he was battling? Kind of how do you unlock more from him at the plate? I, I, think, um, I think there's some of that, the hand and wrist. I think there's a little bit of... Uh, understanding count and leverage and using the lower half to move the baseball a little bit more. Uh, he has the bat to ball, always had it. Um, he has a two strike approach. Uh, we saw that a couple days ago. Uh, so that's already kind of baked into who he is. But when you get count leverage, then you can take some shots. Um, but uh, I do believe that, you know, with the lack of shift, the ball in play is going gonna, is gonna to benefit him a lot. Thanks, Dave. Thanks All right. Yeah.